course, I'm David Nellick. Thank you. And I'm Nikki Nellick. This morsel next to me is my wife, Nikki, and we are live at Pearl Dive and Blackjack, Jeff Black and Barbara Black's incredible place down at 14th Street, and we have got a kick-butt event here because um, there's been a lot of trash talking over the last couple of weeks about a chicken fried steak competition. Um, you know, what, I mean. All right. Well, let's let's get a little excitement going on. We have a full uh, house here today. People are having drinks and digging into donuts and having a good time. But we're all here for the chicken fried steak competition. We have some of the best chefs in the city here. Does everybody have a cocktail? It's very quiet out there. Cocktails? Do we have you're cocktails? not drunk yet. Okay. Come on. Let's have some cocktails. I do want to say, if you're, out, let's hear it. All right. if you're out there listening, you got to get down here to Pearl Dive on 14th Street because the actual competition starts at 11. 45, you can still make it. Yep, and there's still a couple the tickets left. All yep. right, so let's talk about who is here today. We have Chef Victor Alfisu. Come on, Chef, Woo. come on up. No, 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 get up on stage. Come on, Victor. Come on, Victor. Victor. Come on up. Come hither. Come have a seat. All right. Kyle Bailey from Fresh and Barley yeah. in the house. Woo. All right. And uh, the Prince of Pork, Scott Trudeau. He's here. Yeah. The sources. Got you know. And later we'll find out what that means. And then we've got Adam Sobel, Bourbon Steaks. Adam Sobel's in the Come house. On, Adam. Yeah. Throwing it down. But the man to beat today is your host. Yeah. The uh, I don't know the king of chicken fried steak, so he claims right. Jeff Black. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, all right, Jeff Black. All right, Jeff. Woo! All right, Jeff. Woo! All right, Jeff. Now, Jeff. Jeff is gonna have a seat. Now Nikki and I are not judging this contest because that wouldn't be fair because we've already been paid off by several of these guys. <laughs> right. So why don't you introduce the judges? Okay, so uh, we are gonna have the judges sitting where Amber Fow and her son are sitting right now. Uh, but the judges are going to be sitting over there. We have uh, Washington Post Tim Carmen yeah. in with us today. We have the Washington Post David Hagedorn, who is also here, also a former Foodie and the Beast co-host. And we have Urban Daddy's Jeff DeFore. They have all been chosen today. They're going to be digging into chicken fried steak all over the place. You know, they're all unimpeachable judges with 20 sticking out of their pockets. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. All right. And, of course, it would not be a Foodie and the Beast radio show without a little bit of booze. So we brought in the right guys here today. We have the Wilder Brothers. They've Micah got a, and Ari. A whole table. And they are not just... <laughs> They're not just shaking up cocktails for us up here on stage, although I believe they should, but everybody out there is going to be getting taste of everything that we are drinking today. So as they shake it up, you're going to get some of the sweets as well. But now we have to do something serious. Okay, a little serious. Uh, let's bring We're up good. The, good and serious. Dr. Yeah. Kogan and the bear. All right, the Dr. Bear. Kogan. Oh, my God, does that bear need help getting up on stage? <laughs> I feel terrible. Give me, give me your paw, bear. Aww. Come on. Oh, my God. Aww. Holy cow. All okay. right. So you, go. Perhaps you're wondering on, why Dr. Fran Kogan from on, Children's bear. Hospital and <laughs> the exactly. Bear is here, are here. Jeff, you want to take over and tell everybody? Yes. Absolutely, Dr. absolutely. Dr. We have uh, we've Kogan. had a an initiative that uh, we're trying to help out Children's Hospital, and we are dedicated to building a kitchen in the new diabetes wing, mm -hmm. and we have finally raised the funds. So we're making the check donation today on this show. All right. Wait a minute. Love it. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to have Dr. Kogan's having trouble getting the headset on. You did go to med school, right? right? Can I fix that for you? <laughs> I mean, you go. You've got to be smarter than most of the people out there. there. Come go, on. Go, go, go try. There, there you we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now just move that mic down. We're related to some technologically challenged doctors, too. I don't know why that is. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're all yeah. set. Okay, so where's the check? Somebody where is the check? Somebody's supposed to check. All right, do you want check? to tell people why you're doing this and We're, why you're like, doing the Absolutely, right absolutely. I, get, I, I had the, the, the opportunity to meet Dr. Kogan because my son is diabetic. Oh, and right. When we start talking about different charity events and things we want to get involved with, we are always about local and not just for the food we buy, but for the charities we support mm -hmm. and the things that we do. We try and keep everything in, in the neighborhood. And Children's is a wonderful operation. That No child gets turned around. They come in, they get treated, and then they figure out if they can pay or not. So Amazing. it's it's the way it's supposed to be with great. healthcare, Excellent. and they do a great job down there. They do need a lot of help, uh -huh. and so we're trying to do our part. And this is um, this is our contribution. It's, uh, we have the Blacks Family Foundation is our uh, nonprofit that we formed, mm -hmm. and this is our contribution to. Uh, can I get program. you to raise some money also to pay for my son's braces? <laughs> no. 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 He's like, no. I'm not it's doing so that. Cheap. I know. <laughs> So, right, Dr. Kogan, congratulations. Will you it's a tell lot us, of money. Doctor, can you tell us a little bit about the program and why you brought the bear in today and what's going on at Children's Hospital? Well, we have been very fortunate to have community support in building um, the, a diabetes care complex at Children's Hospital. Um, 
one of these signature um, points in our program is nutrition. As you know, with diabetes, you have to, especially with both type 1 and type 2, you have medication, you have exercise, and diet is an incredibly important component of treatment. So we are one of the first programs in um, that, to our knowledge, in the United States in a pediatric hospital to ha have the support of building a real functional kitchen in our complex, which is pretty amazing. I, 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 we, this is going to be basically a demonstration kitchen where we're going to have families learn how to count carbohydrates, portion control, et cetera, because we know that's the foundation of, of managing chronic illnesses such as diabetes. So we are, are so thrilled with the Black Family Foundation for helping us with this. This mm -hmm. is a one-of-a-kind thing, and we're so honored. And I, I don't have enough expletives to be so thankful. So from our point of view, we thank you so much for supporting us. We're hoping that the first guest chefs will be now, Jeff and Barbara Black. Is, <laughs> is the bear up here because that will be the first meal? <laughs> are we chicken fries day? Oh. oh! I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> is that legal in this state? I, I don't that, know. that was a fair question. Okay. It was a very fair question. I thought it was a very fair question. Okay. No holds barred. Okay. Okay. All right, so we will not be chicken fry bear. Fry bear today. The bear right. okay. Well, congratulations. Two hundred thousand dollars is quite an effort, right. Jeff. Oh, so. right. And Barbara. And Barbara Black. Where is Barbara? Barbara's right there. There she is. There she is. Come Give on, my wife, Barbara. Come on up. Big, big, big part of all this. Oh, thank you. Excellent. We're so glad to do this. All right. Well, while everybody's shaking hands and hugging, Let's we're going to throw over the Wilders, going. We're gonna over the Wilder brothers, guys. Tell us what you're making this morning. Let's help that bear down. Uh, today we're doing a, a new cocktail we're featuring um, this summer. Where it's a, 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 a smoky scotch base of Lafroy mm -hmm. with a um, of La what? Lafroy. Uh, <laughs> it's a very peaty scotch, so it's got lots of smoke. Um, we add a Lafroig? smoke. Lafroig. Lafroig. We have it at home. <laughs> no, no frogs. <laughs> no frogs. <laughs> Lafroig leg. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then we're gonna do a little bit of Kirschwasser, um, Clear Creek cherry brandy. What are those? These guys know a lot of big words. I know. Yeah, There's we just a like. A lot of words. They did <laughs> the drink program here. Right? I could've, yes, I they did. We could have just said cherry brandy, but I wanted they did to drink for all for the Pure company. Pure It's good with fondue too. And, and what then, are those big squares? I'm, I know I'm jumping ahead, but I want to know what those uh, are. Uh, these are uh, smoked cherry ice. So we were actually smoking the ice. Um, with the uh, pork belly that we're garnishing it with, um, some cherry nectar, and then we're freezing. Now, I have smoked a lot of stuff. But <laughs> <laughs> How does one but smoke never ice? ice? No. How do you smoke, How do you smoke ice? There, there's, there's no mad scientist to keep up no. with these guys. I know, right? There's it's not. insane. Um, well, we're fortunate to have this awesome kitchen that has a really nice smoker in it, and we just take ice cubes, pretty much wrap a, a grill and cheesecloth, throw the ice on top, and put a pan underneath and smoke it for an hour. That sounds like a lot of work. That's it's like it's really really simple. <laughs> okay. Really simple. All right. So what is this cocktail called? Uh, it's called a sarsaparilla. Okay. And then we're also using a um, a sarsaparilla gum syrup that we made. Um, okay, can we is, make them spell these words? I know. Yeah. Right? I feel like we need a. Hundred bucks and we spell sarsaparilla. The, the other two drinks are really simple. <laughs> right. That's. No, David can't spell. Uh, so. All right. So all right. all right. So let's get back to Jeff and let's talk My about God. this competition. Yeah, There's been an amazing amount of trash talking both interpersonally and on Twitter about who's going to kick whose well, butt. Well, first of all, I'll be nice, and I'll say thanks to all these guys for coming out, because right. I do appreciate it. All right, round of Everything applause we're doing for today, all the chefs participating today. Everything we're doing today is actually going towards that same check we just presented. Right. Um, so this is our last event for that. Also, for that. you should know that uh, Bruno brought some special uh, platters that we're also going to auction off. Yeah, he, um, made, he made his own plate. He made his own plate. Wow. We're going to auction them off. You're not, you're not half as bad as I thought you yeah, were. Yeah. No, he is. Guy. <laughs> 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 Victor's like, he'll do anything. <laughs> anything right. to win. What a anything suck thing up. to win. Anything to Massive win. suck right. up. All right. <laughs> All right. No, so, but but I, I definitely want to thank these guys. All right. Well, so, before. It's pretty job. Thank you for coming to lose. All right. I do appreciate it. All right, Jeff. Come on. This is our show. Okay. So, right. Chicken fried steak. What is it, and why are we all here today to throw it down? Well, chicken fried steak is steak that's been fried just like chicken. Okay. And why is it so it's special? Like, why do one. people like it's it? It's a Texas like, thing, and these guys have no is clue. Is it a Texas thing? They have no idea. Is it from Texas? As far as I know, it's from Texas. Tim Carmen, you're from Texas. Is chicken fried steak from Texas? He's not listening. Jim. Tim, chicken Ch fried steak. Where did it start Texas? from? Where did it start from? Texas. Texas? It is? Texas. It is? It's a Texas delicacy? And what kind of steak are you supposed to use? Like schnitzel? Like a schnitzel. 
like a schnitzel. Wait, but okay. chicken fried steak is from There's Germany. There's a lot of Germans that settled in Texas. Okay. That's, per- that's more than likely the history of it. Now, what are you bringing today? What? What are you bringing today that is going to be so special? I'm doing my chicken fried steak in a away. very traditional fashion. Okay. Black pepper gravy, mm-hmm. greens, mashed potatoes, and okay. chicken fried steak. But I'm using ribeye. You're using ribeye. Uh, now, what is classically used? Classically used. The lesser cuts. Lesser cuts. cuts. Like crummy cuts. Look, That's everybody's over there going, wait, we're using lesser cuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I think Drino's going to use, like, crab or something. I don't know. He's, he's, <laughs> the source, what do they do over there? <laughs> Nothing. They don't use they don't over do the source. anything. All right. Well, can we get the judges up on stage? Jeff, we're going to say goodbye to you. Perfect. Because we're going to see I'm you in a little cook. bit, right? Because you're going to start cooking. I'm gonna go cook. Okay. Yeah. Judges, we're going to have you come up on stage, please. All right. It's goodbye, Jeff. We're going to say good luck to Jeff Black. Jeff Dufour, Tim Harmon, David Hagedorn, these are your judges today. We're going to go to a break and then we're going to talk to these judges. And then we're going to talk to the judges when we get back. This is David and Nicky Nell from Winnie the Beast. Cocktails are coming your way. We'll be right back. Planet Wine. It's like having your own wine cellar right in the heart of Del Rey. More than 700 bottles of domestic and imported wines offer something for every occasion and budget. For fine wines and more, there's a whole planet. Planet Wine in Del Rey. Coming live to you from Blackjack and Pearl Dive down to 14th Street. And uh, we are getting set for a big chicken fried steak competition here in about an hour. And uh, we've got esteemed judges for this competition. Right. So sitting next to me is Jeff Dufour of Urban Daddy. You're Many esteemed. of you, you're esteemed. <laughs> are you? So what are your qualifications? So you why say. are you judging today? There's your beer. Be- you know why? Because I'm like the token northerner here. You are. No, we I'm have the these guys with Texas and, and <laughs> Alabama. 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 Uh, until a few years ago, my experience with chicken fried steak was purely road trip experience. Okay. In fact, until a few years ago, I thought that it was steak fried in chicken fat, <laughs> which doesn't sound like a bad idea hey. either. No, no, no. That's hey. okay. That sounds like a good That's idea. A bad idea. Hey. Right. Can we do that contest? Trademark. Trademark. You know what? Medium Rare is going to be doing it tomorrow. Right, exactly. <laughs> Somebody will pick up on that. And what, David, so did you grow up with chicken fried steak? You know, I, I really didn't actually have that in our family repertoire. <laughs> yeah. The built a fish and chicken fried Yeah, we had uh, the cube steak, which looks like uh, a piece of meat that you put through a paper shredder. Okay. And then they That's like, a really cheap quality, dredge it in right? flour mm-hmm. and brown it. Right. Kind of like chicken fried steak, but then... Braise it and smother it in onions and gravy. And it was tasty. It was tasty because it was cooked to death. And chewy. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And started off with, you know, whatever was in the can of grease you collected by the stove. Ew. Nice. Ew. But. Um, so tell me what you're looking. We'll start. We'll work down the road here. What are you guys looking for from the chefs today? Like what Money. are you? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jeff? What are you looking for? Flavor and then how they... Are you looking for crispiness? Are you looking for crunchiness? I'd rather, I'd I mean, rather, I'd rather have tenderness. Flavor. Tenderness? Yeah. And, how right. they, and, how, and what cut they use and how they maximize that cut. Okay. Do you feel that you don't get enough tenderness in your life? I get plenty. Okay. okay. And let's talk to the Texan at the table. So Tim Carmen from the Washington Post. Yes. Okay. What is it about chicken fried steak? Uh, it's, a, it's a real blue-collar dish. Okay. I mean, it's, it's a, a poor cut of beef that's mm-hmm. pounded, uh, dredged. Fried and covered with a black pepper gravy. When and they're doing Many that. people hate it. Uh, do you like it? Um, I, mean, I is do it like. Something you we, would order? Um, no. Okay. Not no. really. Okay. <laughs> well, we're here for a good cause today. Yes. And so, when the judges are, are serving you today, what are you going to be looking for? Well, I've already like scouted out. They're all using like this really high end uh, cuts of ribeye. And, okay. And, oh, so and, you've done some recon. Yeah, and so th- they're already cheating. Okay. You know, so it's going to be really uh, tender, and it's going to be so much better than the, the, the classic chicken fried steak you'll find in Texas. Okay, great. All right, well, judges, we're going to ask you to have a seat. We're going to take off the headphones because your chicken fried steak is going to be coming up shortly. But we want to thank you guys for joining us today and for giving us your your take on chicken fried and steak. Jeff, I'm, I'm holding some tenderness for you. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> Try know, a little tenderness. Exactly. She may be weary. Okay. All right, let's get Scott Druneau up Scott here. Scott Druneau. Scott, All right, our let's first have a round of applause for Scott Druneau. I think the audience is already getting looped. I know. There. All right. Have they cut? Hey. Allison, you didn't even clap for your own husband. I know. Oh, boy. Let's go, y'all. y'all. All right. Scott Druneau of The Source, thank you for joining us today. So, Scott. 
You do not cook chicken fried steak in your restaurant at all. That's a true story. And I, have you ever cooked chicken fried steak before? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday, first time. So what are, what can we look for from you? Like, what did you decide was missing from chicken fried steak that you wanted to add to it? Well, I did a uh, ode to the dirty south in my plate, and okay. we have a, a dish called the ODB, which is the old dirty biscuit. Uh, okay. Served with a dirty Southern Bloody Mary. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So you figure you get them liquored up while they're eating. This is yeah. Help there's you also out. a beer back. I like to drink my Bloody Mary with a beer back. So we also put a little Texas Shiner back on the plate too. Oh my God. Okay. And tell us about the physical. Since you're putting a lot of alcohol on the plate, is there something to actually eat? Yes. Okay. Let's hear about that. <laughs> so we made a great buttermilk biscuit, and we took uh, Kobe Gold New York Strip, uh, the end cuts, pounded them thin, breaded it. And then we're going to do a, a blackened, spicy sausage gravy over the top. Yeah. So was it fun? Was this fun to put together for you? It was great. You know, I'm, I'm a little concerned about our gracious host, Jeff Black, you know, being a, a proud southern man. I know he knows his way around a chicken fried steak. Mm -hmm. I'm not so concerned about these three. Right. Um, I did see. I just want to let the judges they know. They look like Mo Larry and yeah. I, <laughs> I saw I saw Victor Elbisu taking his meat out of a can downstairs. <laughs> so, you know. It was I, a can of Jimmy Moore. Yes. I got <laughs> I was thinking Alpo. Are you sure it was an Alpo? I don't know what it was. But I, I wouldn't need it if I was you all. Okay. Y'all. Yeah. Uh, I, I did overhear Kyle Bailey saying he did his research at Denny's. Okay. So another note for the judges. Okay, and, his wife is here, and I, <laughs> Tiffany looks angry. She's like, what did you Sorry. say about yeah. my husband? He's like, he took me to Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> and I intercepted a tweet from Adam Sobel pleading to Paula Dean this week for help. Oh, my because God. Because he had oh no God. clue what Can he was doing. Can anybody see? Juno up last night in the bathroom writing out his jokes. <laughs> yeah. right. Where's the sound effects for me? Right, right, well, I exactly. just want to say that what you're preparing sounds like exactly what they used to prepare around the campfires on the cattle drives in Texas. Exactly. Right. Well, you're from upstate New York, so I mean, this yeah. is not something that was on the menus at all growing up, right? No, I have no idea about chicken fried steak, so uh, <laughs> I, I tried to dive right into it. I've been eating chicken fried right. steak in copious <laughs> amounts for the last three days, so right. we'll see what happens. All right. Well, we're looking now. Tell us about the plates you made. We don't have one up here. I wish uh, people can see it. We're going to auction them off. But you did the same thing for Kashan. Right. So where did you get the idea for it? Uh, you know, I have a great pig farmer who, uh, you know, we made the sausage gravy today. I get these beautiful pigs from Leaving Waters Farms in Virginia. It's a small family farm. And uh, he happened to walk in the kitchen a few months ago, and I was bias cutting a cucumber. And I was like, wouldn't it be cool if I could take, like, a tree and <laughs> cut it like this and put my food on it for Kashan? And he said, you know. I'm a farmer from the country, and I live with a bunch of trees, so I can do that for you. So, so. this is Leaping Lizard's farm, huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so he cut these plates for me, and then I, I burned them, and I emblazoned them with uh, today. Uh, is this like your woodworking class yeah, from, like, Boy Scouts? Emblazoned. Emblazoned's a really big word. You yeah. Want to explain to Don't me? ask me how to spell that, because okay. I can't. So we, we burned a, a pig for the sausage gravy, a chicken for the chicken fried, and a steer head. So they're one-of-a-kind plates that you can use as trivets, and... We're going to auction them off for this uh, this we great did. charity and uh, try to try to help out the Children's Hospital. I think it's great. So loosen up All those right. checkbooks. Everybody loosen up your checkbooks. That's They're right. great plates. And just, is there anything going on at the source that people know to, know about? Like, what are you participating Nothing. in? What are you up to these days? I'm participating in a chicken fried steak competition throwdown that I've <laughs> right. been fully focused on for many weeks now. Since uh, the Koshan. But we have Mother's Day coming up this Sunday and a uh, little non-traditional <laughs> Mother's Day and Nothing says I love you, Mom, like uh, dim sum. So come out to the I stores totally for a little dim sum brunch on Sunday. Yeah, if your mom's Chinese. <laughs> I'm not. I'll be very happy to be Thank there. You. I think that sounds great. Please leave David at home. <laughs> Thank you. As usual. <laughs> All right. So you ready? Are you ready to go and cook it up? I'm ready to go. All right. All right, All right everybody, scat your dough. All right, right. Kyle Bailey. Kyle Bailey, Step come on, on up. up, man. No, no wait a minute. Wait, wait a wait. second. I want to make sure everybody has the cocktail we're drinking. Hey, have they been passing out the cocktails? They're, they're, you guys starting, to? To. they're starting to. They're starting to. Okay, what's it called again? Remind me. Uh, the sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. Is everybody getting a sarsaparilla? They're want... passing it around. Who's old enough to remember the show Sugarfoot? No? No. Yeah, that's all I drank with sarsaparilla. Uh, oh, okay. All right, so, no Kyle, there's been a lot of trash talking. Hi, Kyle. Hey, yeah. How are you? And everybody says they're going to kick your butt. Now, I... You're the quiet one. You are the quiet one, which means you're dangerous. You're the strong, silent type. So let's, let's hear. Uh-uh. <laughs> Yeah, um, these guys brought uh, all kinds of crazy ingredients. Uh, I'm starting to feel really bad. I feel like I phoned this one in. You know, they uh, all kinds of uh, seafood everywhere, man. And uh, I went to Denny's. You know, I went to. That's how I. 
Can we get, I, we check it out? Yeah. Yeah, I swear to God. We Field went. research. Yeah, once a year we go to Denny's. I said Scott wasn't joking. <laughs> you were serious? <laughs> once a year we go to Denny's to um, to see, to remember what that's like. Okay. No. And and what did you find at Denny's? I, I need more information. Moons Over Miami is still the best sandwich of all time. What is it? Moons Over Miami. You've never had it? had it? Oh, my no. God. It's so good, Has man. Has anybody else had See, it? Wait, I, I haven't had ever it. Ever since I married Nikki, I'm not allowed to go to Denny's, but no. I, I've been there and I've done it. Good, man. It's super yeah, good. It's great. Uh, so this chicken is fried the guy who does the Luther. I mean, seriously? There's, it's Moons Over Miami. It's a uh, scrambled egg sandwich. It's so awesome with ham in there. It's okay. awesome. It's so good. Uh <laughs> so, so, does the sandwich still move on the plate? Because I remember that. Yeah, it's just too. a mess. It's <laughs> what is it? It's scrambled egg sandwich. It's a scrambled egg sandwich. That's it? With okay. ham. With ham. All right. It's awesome. But the name is you know you're losing me. I know. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Cheddar, man. It's okay. So All right. So, your chicken fried steak is going to be what? Classic. Um... They kind of, you know, twist on classic. I've got um, uh, rib cap or uh, top cap, it's called, or deckle. Okay. Right? It's um, uh, the piece. Uh, For uh, people who don't know, what kind of cut is that? Like, where is that? Sure. Uh, on the rib. On yeah. the rib eye. Sorry. On mm-hmm. the rib eye. You get this flap of meat. Mm-hmm. It's the um, most tender, awesome piece of meat, and the cow only makes two of them, you know? It's like, uh, it's it's super, super good, you know? But that's not something you find on a lot of restaurant menus, that cut. Do you? Um, yeah, you can find it. Do you do it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely. All right. The deckle? Yeah. Okay. The deckle. The deckle. That, does, that sounds dirty. I know. That's uh, so good, man. It's, the, it's such a great cut of meat. So we'll be um, uh, 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 buttermilk brine this for a day. Right. Um, and I'll double dredge that, fry it out. Uh, uh, sunchoke mashed potatoes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sunchoke mash with uh, with chives. Uh-huh. Um, and I've got these um, these mustard greens from Arcadia, the, the, the farm. Yeah, the we, farm. Absolutely. With. Um, and they're like just beautiful purple mustard greens. And I was going to... Uh, it's gonna cook them, but they're so beautiful raw and they're so spicy and good, you know. So we're gonna kind of dress the plate with this. Um, and instead of making a red eye gravy, which uh, is pretty traditional, uh, I made a red eye sausage. Ooh. Uh, with the flavors of red eye gravy in the sausage. Well, are the hosts of this competition gonna get food too? Yes, we get good. to take a day. I want to make sure everybody knows what we're talking. If you just joined the show, we're down at Pearl Dive on 14th Street, Jeff and Barbara Black's restaurant, and we're talking to uh, right now. We're talking to Kyle Bailey from Birch and Barley, but all the chefs that are participating in a chicken fried steak competition because everybody's been talking the S word about right. who's got the best chicken fried steak. So we're going to find out because Jeff Black thinks he's going to wipe All the right. floor with so these Kyle guys. So Kyle Bailey, speak specifically to the judges. Tell them why your chicken fried steak is going to be the best. Hagedorn. Uh, he's like, what? What do you want? Pay attention. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the, uh, yeah. Um, Sell it. I'm just so good. You know, everything I do is so awesome. <laughs> Uh, that is true. It was crazy. It's like every night I go home and I'm down, I'm down on my knees. I'm like, why am I so blessed? <laughs> so much power. I'm okay. so good looking. It's you are. So awesome. I'm you got an really amazing wife. Yeah. Birch yeah. and Barley. It's Kyle Bailey. He's going to be bringing it for the Chicken Fried Steak Competition. Round of applause, Kyle Bailey. Thank you. Thank, you right. Thank you very much. Okay. So we're going to have to take a break in just a minute. But before that... Wilder Brothers, I know you're going to be making us another cocktail. When we come back on the break, you can tell us all about it, but tell us what you will be pouring next. Uh, we'll be uh, featuring our peep show, which is... Uh, all right. I'm that doesn't sound with I, mean, uh, I knew he was very excited, excited about that. Okay. <laughs> um, and that is our uh, Wilder Brothers seasonal tonic with um, slow gin, Hendrix, and um, some cucumber. Wait a minute. What is in the Wilder so Brothers seasonal tonic? I can't really tell you. Yes, yeah, you can tell us. You no, you can tell us. We, tell use, us. we use seasonal citruses um, combined with some uh, chinchilla bark to make the tonic and honey. Some and what kind of bark? It's just this really annoying word called chinchilla. Chinchilla. Don't worry about that. Is it, is it like, is it I'll like spell cinnamon? It for you later. Is it cinnamon bark? No, it's, like a, a cinnamon it's, bark? A, it's the bark that you use, the quinine, pretty much, to make to, tonic. To create a tonic, yeah. which, you know, initially was just to, uh, to, to cure enough. malaria. And you grind it and do it. <laughs> Something little. Yeah, we, we, we bring it down to a powder, and then we, we uh, bring it to a boil, and then we add all of our citrus. That seems like a lot of work. It's uh, too much work. Too much work. I'm all tired. Right. You guys get back to that. Okay. This is David and Nikki Dallas of Foodie the Beast. We'll be talking with more chefs and eating chicken fried steak in just a couple days. Adam's Looks like he needs to sit down. <laughs> the phrase neighborhood restaurant means convenience, but not necessarily style or good taste. But in DC's West End, Circle Bistro, Noti Bianche, and Dish Plus drinks take neighborhood dining to new levels. Circle Bistro offers contemporary French inspired cuisine. Dish has new twists on American classics. And Noti Bianche is the perfect Italian trattoria. 
The Kennedy Center is just steps away, so pre and post theater dining is enjoyable and convenient. Dish, Note Bianca, and Circle Bistro. There's good taste in the neighborhood. Wilders have escaped to, to pour a drink, so let's talk to Victor Albizu, who's been taking a lot of hard hits, lot particularly from Jeff. Uh, Jeff and Scott and I know everybody's picking on Victor. They, they, they're, they're not showing you any respect. Well, so you. I, I think they're scared. I because think that's what you it are is. one of the. You used to be at BLT Steak. You were there forever. I mean, right. you should know your way around a steak, right? I, I do know my way around a steak, and I grew up eating something like chicken fried steaks, uh, milanesas. I don't know if you've ever heard in South America. That's what they eat. It's chicken fried steak, basically. Is it? I think it originated down there. That's that's my story. Okay. Far the south of Texas. Okay. Much south. Much in Germany, right. right? We're hearing lots of no, it's right. Germany. It's like no way, no way. You're getting a lot of nothing from the judges. Well, that's okay. I mean, they all have their teams. They all brought like six cooks and chefs. You know, you know, I'm, I'm, it's just me. I, I'm cooking at my house. I, I prepped at my house. Right. Yeah, so. All right. So okay, we'll see. What do you we'll make? What's in it? Please. All right. So tell uh, us, tell us about your like affection for chicken fried steak and why, what you're making and how you're doing it. Actually, it's one of my very favorite uh, things to eat, chicken fried steak. I don't call it that, like I said, but right. Um, the, you know, I, I got it from. Oh, there thank you. Thank Good you very much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I got it from um, the organic butcher in McLean. I got some Strew Ranch Kobe uh, ribeye, mm-hmm. uh, and we're gonna bread it and fry it. And I'm going to do a little bit of a modern take on it. So. Okay. When you say bread it and fry it, I mean, are you like, is it panko crust? I mean, what do you, what does that mean? Or is it just flour? No, I, I, I don't use panko, so I'm not never going to get an endorsement from them. But okay. the, the, uh, I, I use baguette and I pulverize it, I uh-huh. dry it out, and, and, and I actually put some pine nuts in it uh-huh. and a little herbs and some, and a secret ingredient so that I'm not going to let anybody know about. Secret, special, yeah. secret ingredient. So it's going to be, you know, relatively well, fancy. Well, you know, Scott Trineau was giving you a lot of grief. He said you were, he could see you outside who's and Oz. Yeah, he, he, what was it, that it's, about? It's all out of fear. It's, it's all, all out, out of fear. fear. It is, it is. I am afraid. It, he's afraid. Look at him. He's turning beet red. So he's, he's afraid. And no, I thought but, he came to the party beet red. Right. Yes. <laughs> Adding on with those plates and stuff like that. So now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Scott really takes it to another level. Yeah, he does. It's great. You know, it's great. I'm really, <laughs> really looking forward to that. So what goes with the chicken fried steak? <laughs> uh, for, uh, on my dish, uh, you know, I since I've not really been cooking in a professional kitchen for the past month or so, I I missed spring. So I'm doing fava beans and ramps and that kind of thing. So. Oh. All right, I'm Eli. Really excited about it. Yeah. Eli, don't eat the fava beans. Yeah, no fava beans. Yeah. For well, Eli. the judges look really happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, great. <laughs> This is yeah. very Baba <laughs> All right, so are you allowed, since you're cooking in your kitchen at home, are you allowed yes. to tell us, like, what you're up to these days and what we can expect since we're all missing you from BLT Steak? Well, thank you. Yeah, no, I, I have a few things in the works. I mean, um, not a slam against the current chef. No, no. I have been back since you left. Yeah. Excuse me. I mean, I, <laughs> could, I, I could really? live, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm going to leave that alone. For okay. Sure. Um, but, oh, come on. You don't want to do some more trash talking? No, no, oh, come on. no, that would no, make this no. I got so enough with these guys. Fun. Wait a minute. You're gone. With these guys. Adam Wojomowski's gone. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, you know, we've moved on to greener pastures. Right. Right. That's right. what it goes. So, uh, no, the, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm working on a few different projects. I'm doing a little taqueria in Virginia. I may be doing a, uh, a VA burger place in here in, up, uh, mm-hmm. in D.C., so we'll see. And there's a, another well, wait, uh, bigger the Taqueria project. in Virginia, is that something that's happening or something you're looking to do? No, no, that's happening. Yeah, okay. I'm doing a little, a little uh, real authentic on the wall type Where? of Taqueria in Tyson's. Oh, neat. Tyson's, Tyson's? Tyson's, Tyson's, yes. And in the what? mall? Where the metro's go- No, no, not the, the mall. mall. No, Can you imagine know. in the mall? No, Why not? No. no. Uh, the so so I don't like going to the mall. No, nobody wants to go to a mall. <laughs> All right, so the taco, my wife does. it's a taqueria, a traditional taqueria is that same thing I would get. Right, real authentic, real simple, straightforward. You know, it's, uh, so like what kinds of things can we expect to see? Oh, you're going to, I mean, it's going to. Look, gonna, it got quiet. Everybody's like, taqueria. Taqueria. Good. Let's yes, hear it. Please. The man say right. taqueria. Uh, we're going oh, to be doing. Uh, Hackadorn is actually drooling. Oh, please. <laughs> Well, we're going to do a lot of things that I like to do, a little odd bits, you know, sweet breads. We'll, we'll do tongue. We'll do all the, the real traditional stuff, and along with a really cool, a little bit more, uh, you know, modern, more palatable stuff nice. for other people. So. I was going to say, yeah, can we do something other than tongue? Yeah. I don't like tongue. <laughs> don't, I don't get it. It doesn't work for me. For the me. record, I love tongue. I know. A lot of people do. I yeah. get it. I mean, I don't get it. It just it grosses me out. Not as much as Bruno, though. Bruno is a tongue fan. Are you? Yeah. He said sure. you're a tongue fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. This is I a family. I something inappropriate. I know. I was like, where is he going All right, everybody relax. My children are right here. They're right up front. This is a family show. It's Sobel's tongue, but it's a... Uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, all right, all right, all right. All right, so... All right, well... 
Good Victor, luck to you. We're going to wish you good luck. Thank you so much. And uh, right, anything yeah, you want to sell to the judges, this is your opportunity. No, you know, just know that I didn't bring a brigade with me, um, like uh, these guys did. Victim, victim. Um, actually, victim, the only victor. guy that the, the only guy that helped, that offered help is Kyle, so I'm going to take him up on it. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I brought, well, we exchanged something. I'm not making half as this. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Juno. All, All right. All right. Give right, a round of applause for Victor Alvisa. Right. Thanks All right. very much, guys. All right, let's go back over to the Wilders and find out about this. All right, did everybody drink. get a sarsaparilla? Did everybody try it? The judges do not. Hey, have you guys one. in the back, everybody got a sarsaparilla? Can we get yes? a sarsaparilla for the judges and for the chefs on stage, please? Because I think they all need one. Can we make that happen? Sarsaparilla. We'll, we'll make one. Then. Okay, great. All right, good. All right, and so what's this next one? Let's get back so, into so, it. So this is our tongue and tonic. Okay. Um, we're going to be using our fresh tongue tonic okay. made with uh, gin. <laughs> um, it's just uh, this our what? this our peep show. I, we were just talking so much about tongue, I just thought we'd throw it. Right, we just keep it, keep it going. Right. So thank you. We kind, of, we kind of feel left out over here. Everyone else is competing, and we're just in the corner. No, there's um, like a whole mess science table over there. Uh, so this is just our peep show. It's the um, Hendrix Slow Gin and top with our seasonal tonic, a little sage and cucumbers okay, and great. lemon juice. Excellent. Now, is this something that's on the menu now? It is, yes. Well, let me, let, let me wait. I want to talk. You guys are from, hold it. You're from Bethesda, right? I mean, not really. Uh, well, we, we try to say San Francisco. We, I know, but you guys grew up in Bethesda, right? Uh, we, we actually have been back and forth like almost every other year. It's been really tough for How us, did you but. get into this and how did you get into this as brothers? Um, well, I we, we like I, uh, I I actually worked at a, and opened a lot of cocktail bars in San Francisco, went to art school and ventured back there, and then my, migrated back here to kind of team up with my brother and um, and it, it was just kind of born here. Since well, I, since were you I, guys I, both drinking in, a lot of in, booze in high school? It or? wasn't. Uh, that's for sure. It wasn't born in Bethesda. It was born in D.C. in San Francisco. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. But now, so let's talk about the menu that you guys are doing here. How often are you changing it? Um, well, we, we actually have signature cocktails, of course, that we keep on seasonally. Mm -hmm. But um, we're really excited. I mean, this one, for example, the Peep Show is one of our, um, our most popular and probably one of my favorites. It's gorgeous. Uh, um, it is beautiful. So, um, yeah, I mean, just like the, you'll get the aromatics from don't, the Don't start sage. slapping the sage just because he did. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, we got that. All right, All right so now everybody's going to be getting tastes of uh, the, the peep, peep show. show. All right, yes. so the peep they're, show they're, should be coming be, out. You all should be drinking it. Yeah, they're all out. And everybody should be enjoying it. Give them it. some peep show. And can Let's we get see. some for the chefs up here? Yeah, of course, of course. We'll serve some over right chefs here. nice Whoa. and lubricated. Okay. All right, next up, we've got Adam Sobel. The year of the Sobel. I don't know why. Why do they keep saying that? It's Hi, honey. Hi. How are you? All right. Now, you guys know Adam from Bourbon Steak, and I've actually never seen you in anything but you know, your chefs do. So. Yeah. I have. And I like your T-shirt. I've, I've seen you out of your chef. Anybody? <laughs> Wait a minute. You have? <laughs> ho, ho. Not like that. I thought that was between us. Not, <laughs> if, you, not if you want to live. <laughs> All right. So... You're in a, I mean, you're Fresh back from Costa Rica. What yeah. did you learn there about chicken fried steak? Not a Absolutely thing. nothing. Not <laughs> I drank a lot of beer. Uh -huh. Ate a lot of uh, mangoes. Okay. Drank out of coconuts and laid on the beach. Constrictors? No, I saw uh, monkeys, scorpions, turtles, uh, all kinds of. Did uh, you see the scorpion in the house though? It was in my shower. I'm not going to Costa Rica. But honestly, you I'm, forget it. I'm, I'm used never to going scorpions to Costa Rica. from living in the desert. So. Me too. What, in Vegas? I've been married yeah. a couple of times. So. No way. No <laughs> way. No, thank you. All right. So, bourbon steak does yeah. not serve chicken fried steak. But no. how did you get in on this competition, and what is it that you're bringing to the table? I believe it was the night of the Ramy nominations. I was yes. playing oh, with my Jeff God. Black. <laughs> Almost. And I'm a natural <laughs> competitor, and you mentioned that, that we were going to do a... Uh, chicken fried steak competition I said I mm -hmm. wanted in. Right. So. Have you ever, like. Have you ever made a chicken fried steak? Once. Once? Did yeah. you eat? But here's the thing. It shows if, a lot you, of if you could do chicken nice fried. Boy. What are you doing with If you can make steak? a schnitzel or a chicken, you know, chicken cutlet or chicken parmesan, you can make a chicken fried steak. Okay. So what is it that you're doing to your chicken fried steak? I'm taking the angle of local terroir. All right. Okay. So. I've got local That's 50. That's a very fancy phrase. It is a very or, fancy word. All right. You mean dirt. Wait, Scott Drew okay. doesn't know what terroir means. It means dirt. Help dirt. Out? So help for, out. Help for, my out. for my layman over here, yeah. it's um, 
I'm using ingredients that are indigenous to our, our area right here. So okay. I've got local grass-fed beef that's aged 50 days. I'm doing a bone-in 32-ounce ribeye that I pounded thin. Yum. Um, Maryland uh, jumbo lump blue crab meat. Oh, my God. And my great sausage crab gravy. Mm-hmm. I've got mustard greens and kale that uh, I pulled out of my garden yesterday. Is the actually. garden up and running yeah. at the Four Seasons? Yeah. I love that so, garden. I hope you guys are listening to this because this is... My 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 angle is ingredients. <laughs> it's about the ingredients and just you know right. quality. Quality. And then how are you? What are you dredging in? What are you doing with it? Um, I make my special KFC uh, flour flour dredge. I've got my 12 spices and seasonings Isn't that are funny that here you got all these like really high end chefs and some of the best restaurants in the city. One is at Denny's. One You're like talking about KFC. I and mean, he went to Popeyes. I mean, everybody's bragging about that, you know going low. The flavor because of KFC has that steak. has I that know. umami, you know, that like th- that flavor you just can't describe. Like, where is it coming from? But anyway, that's in my flour okay, dredge. Umami and chicken fried steak do not match in my head. Will, I'm sorry. I have an extra one for you guys to taste. So okay, good. You'll you'll get a you'll see what you I'm better. talking about. You better. Yeah, you better. And um, <laughs> I'm doing brioche breadcrumbs, and mm-hmm. then I'm frying it in lard. So it's going to be really super delicious. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, fat, fat, and fat. That yeah. sounds really, really good. Let me ask you a question. It's a little bit out of the thing, but there's a lot of camaraderie in the local chef community. Yeah. And uh, I'm curious because, uh, you know, Kyle, you were up in New York and all that. Does this happen in other cities or does everybody want to slice everybody else's throat? How what? does it happen down here? But you guys are competitive, but you guys yeah, like but each other, right? Yeah, but they're actually sitting with each other without uh, using shivs. <laughs> We're all friends. They're not sitting shiva. Never mind. <laughs> no, I, you only but, got one person on stage who gets that. No, but the, the family. Yeah. <laughs> okay. La familia. <laughs> no, go. but seriously, is that something that's sort Agadorn of... Agadorn says that one's done. Keep in mind um, it. Right. Stinkaroo. I don't, don't care. Don't do you, right? <laughs> is that something that's... That, I mean, it's, it seems fairly unique here because what I hear about other cities is everybody's at each other's throat. I, I just... I don't, I don't think that's true. You don't think they're at each other's throat? They're nodding. They're nodding. Really? So uh, now, I now mean, they're going to be well, after you. You guys were both in New York, right? Where were you, Scott, last? Were you in Vegas or New York? Both. Scott, you were in both. I just be, I've been here as long as I have been. Right. When these guys came to town, things got a lot different. I mean, okay. I this guy. Right. This guy. Kind of landscape. Uh, everybody oh. loves each other. It's so, it's so nice. So it's a real love in. Okay. It's a real All right. Love. Just sell it. Sell it to the judges. Judges, can I have your attention, please? Sell it. Adam Silva is going to sell you on why his chicken fried steak is going to be the absolute best. Quality. Agadorn. Quality. Quality. Quality always rises to the top. So, you know, Druno's using cutter, uh, cutter, cutter grade. Canner. Cutter canner grade. Victor's been playing tennis, hasn't been cooking in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Kyle, I, I, Kyle's so humble, I can't really talk any smack about him. Jeff Black's got home field advantage, but I still think that um, my chicken fried steak will stand up. All, All right. right. Good there luck. You go. All right. Thank you very much. Everybody give a round of applause to Adam Sobo. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we get back, Jack Black is bringing it. He's going to be bringing up the first chicken fried steak. So this is David and Nicky Nelson, Beauty and the Beast. We'll be right back. I'm on a mission to spread the word about seal. Planet Wine in Del Rey is more than just 700 great wines. There's also a stellar selection of craft beers picked by Greg Engard, one of Food & Wine's favorite... We are minutes away from the start of the chicken fried steak competition. Minutes? It's ready. Let's well, ready no, it. Well, no, wait, not yet. I just okay. want to quickly thank the folks that make our show possible. First and foremost, Jeff Black and Barbara Black, who own uh, Pearl Dive Black. All right, Blacks, can you give a big round of applause to the Blacks? Black Salt, Black Market, and Addie's. Woo! The great restaurants by the Black Restaurant Group. Uh, our friends at Georgetown Bakery Neighborhood Restaurant Group. That's Rustico, Evening Star, Tallulah, Vermilion. Buzz Bakery, Columbia Firehouse, Birch and Barley, represented today by Kyle Bailey, and Church Key Founding Farmers, where we're going to be doing a live remote out One of Potomac. Uh-huh. What's the date? May 20th. May 20th. Yeah, man. And then June Come 10th, June we're going to be at Black's and Bethesda, the Tiki Bar. It's going to be lots of fun. And yeah, man. And 10 o'clock in the at, morning at the Tiki Bar. You're talking too much. Charles so Schwartz and Sun Fine Jewelers, thanks for supporting us. All right. Okay. All right, Jeff, Jeff Black. He is putting the gravy on oh his my chicken God. fried steak. This is the steak. part of the show I wait for. And it is going over to the judges. And I only see three chicken fried steaks, and I'd like to know where ours are. Yeah. What kind of deal is this? <laughs> Here it comes. All right, Jeff Black is going to be bringing it over. 
Wilder right. Brothers. While Jeff Black is bringing his chicken fried steak over to the judges, let's get a 411 on what you guys are doing. Cool. Well, we're really excited about our new um, seasonal um, summer cocktail. Okay. We actually, um, it's called the Velvet Hour, so it's really, it's really exciting. Like, like the Velvet Hour out in Chicago? Uh, that would be the... Violet Hour, I oh, guess. Oh, it's yeah. the Violet Hour? You're yeah, right. we're, we're right. separatists. We're okay. the Velvet Hour. Some foodie you yeah. are. <laughs> but, uh, but, well, maybe I was just there too long. No, we were there long enough. At enough. least you know about everything that's good right. in this world. So, um, Yeah, so mango, um, aged rum, uh, velvet falernum, some, uh, some house-made uh, ginger syrup with... Um, Fresh lemon and just really oh. refreshing and bright for uh, summertime. And a little Amaro for a nice bitter body. Yeah, that bounces out the spice. All right, but but I, put, I put the rum enough. on top for you. Just yeah. All right. That's okay. All right. I do rum. <laughs> he does. All right. So Jeff Black is back with us. Yes. Hi, I've been cooking my God. diligently. So tell us, you know what? I would love to be able to show everybody what that is. But tell well, us about it. Just real quick, we have chicken fried steak coming up for everybody. Oh, chicken fried steak. We're doing is exactly on the, the same plate up. the judges are getting, but everybody's going to get their own little one. Okay, great. Um, right now, what we have is a chicken fried ribeye. Yum. It's got a black pepper gravy. It's uh-huh. got mashed potatoes, and then this little green bean salad. We char them on a, on a wood grill. Uh-huh. Mix them with some tomatoes. A little okay. bit of olive oil, sea oh salt. Oh my God! Look at wow. that. Wow! Don't you think it's so, important for the host to get some? Yeah, well, we're going to feed you. Chill out. You're going to get that. My that. God, he's always he's always hungry. He's always worried. worried. He's not he's always hungry. Dead. Always afraid. He's thirsty miss too. Out. Right. Well, like, as you can see with the cocktail. You step on my us. foot and my mouth open. Right. So. Exactly. <laughs> no, but uh, this is exciting. And again, I want to thank the other chefs. They're all downstairs working diligently. They're going to start cooking. Um, you know, I know we're talking a lot of trash, but. Actually, these guys are good friends of mine, and they're good well, guys. Well, you know, so. that's what David was – we were talking about it a little bit with the chefs that were up here. I mean, the camaraderie of it's, chefs in the yeah. city is amazing. We have to stick together because it's mean, a hard business But you've with. been around, not because of your age, but for a long well, time. Well, you know, they dirt. had indoor plumbing and then dirt and then me. <laughs> so you went to chef school with Lincoln, correct? <laughs> no, Lincoln you know was in my underclass. Yeah. But my point is, is that as you've grown up the ranks here and opened up your own restaurants, how has the landscape changed? Oh, it's radically changing, but it's changing all over the United States. Right. I mean, but we're fortunate that we have a strong economy and we have good people and educated clientele and the things that you look for in a restaurant. You you, you go into a neighborhood, you want high education levels and high disposable income and D.C.'s got it. But how do you, but like, since you started on Rockville Pike at Addie's and you you know, branched out. I mean, this is your first Right next seat. to Hank Deedles. Yes. Well, when we first time we went to Addie's, it was because um, a particular mayor was in office who wouldn't fix potholes and who made... Is that in Kensington? Who, no, this is uh, Mary Berry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go into D.C. because the, the climate was so bad. Didn't someone yeah. set him up? I think so. I think, so. <laughs> I think our name started with a B. I was going to say the B set her up, <laughs> right? <laughs> but the long and the short of it was there's been a section of, of really great mayors since, mm-hmm. and, it, and the city has got a lot of good energy, and it's it's great. It's a great place to do business. Okay, and so with the opening of this place, which you did less than a year ago, Correct. what else can we look for you? What else is on the horizon? I, I got all Come kinds on. of things we brewing. We know you got plans. I got, I got a Virginia project brewing. I'm, I'm talking about partnering with a chef on a big project. But Virginia project is out in the open. You can yes. say what it is. Yeah, it's, it's going to be called Empire. Empire. Empire Oyster House. And okay. the name comes from the fact that I hate it. I hate it with a passion. And people say, oh, the Black Empire got bigger. Oh. <laughs> you don't like being so, called an empire? So Wait, how many restaurants do you We just played to it. We okay. just played to it. So it's going to have a, Where's a it gonna be? turn of the century New York process. It's, it's a Maryfield, right? Maryfield. Maryfield. Oh, that's right that's, near my office. It's an incredible Your office. Project. You're going to come over. Yeah. But a boom. No, it's an incredible it's project. Gonna how gonna big is that restaurant going to be? It's going to be big. We're going to have the biggest, hopefully the biggest raw bar on the East Coast. What does that mean exactly? Well, like the bar have, is just—it's like a bar like this, just covered it, with entire, shrimp and lobsters. The entire restaurant is built around it. Okay. Massive selection of raw bar items, 30 plus oysters. Isn't the ocean going to run out of oysters? Not for us. Okay. No. Actually, we're, we have two. That, I'm glad you brought that up. We have two of our own oysters coming online. Really? That are being harvested for us. We have uh, old black it? salts and black pearls. We've got. Um, the Rappahannock guys are doing uh, uh, black pearls. Okay. And the and what are the black pearls going to taste guys. like? Toby Island guys are doing, Toby Island guys, this is the, the clever part. Toby Island is doing an oyster for us off of Black's Channel. Oh, neat. Yes. So they're they're getting to size. They're not to size yet. But, but these are oysters right. that are types of oysters are that Chesapeake are already in existence. Bay, what? They're, they're East Coast oysters raised in the bay. We're right. getting them right in the saltiest part of the mouth of the bay where I like, I personally like to have high salinity in okay. my oysters. Uh, my, How do they but make, are they plump? I mean, like, are you look, like what kind of oyster do you like? Because there's so many I, different kinds. I like East Coast 
high salinity. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. You're jumping over something very important. How, oysters, first of all, are an aphrodisiac. So oysters are obviously horny anyways. How do they put two oysters together and say, make a new oyster for Jeff Black? He doesn't know how I, I it could, works. I, could, I, could, I, do, I know exactly I know how it works. Exactly. It would take you 15 no, minutes to explain it. It works I like that, but how do they do it? They make they, they spawn, and they take the spat, and the spat is microscopic, and they put the spat on what's called oyster meal, which mm-hmm. is ground-up shells. Right. And each spat attaches to one little tiny piece of meal, and then they people sell that. And it's you buy that. I have no idea what you just said. I, know, but like I, I, I tell you, it could be a whole show on this. I thought I spat was the past tense. Well, when spit, those oysters, so. when those oysters it are ready, it certainly is. <laughs> when those oysters are ready, will you come and bring them on the Absolutely. show so we can try them? Absolutely. Will you will drop they, some off at our house? Will they be sure. available here? They will. All right. Very They'll cool. Be at all the restaurants. All right. So it's time to wrap up our show. Yes, but, it is. So the competition is in full swing. People who are listening to the radio show, if you want to come on down, Please there, do. there's going to be there's still some tickets available, and they can come to get into the chicken fried steak. And the actual chicken fried steak for the guests is coming up right it's now. It's coming up awesome. right now. So we're right, at Pearl Black, Dive on you. 14th Street. Jeff Black, thanks. Fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. So good to have you. All, All right. right. So we want to thank our David, guests thank real you. quick. Yes. You're not really always fun. Yeah, You're yeah, our right, host. Right, right, right. <laughs> Jeff <laughs> Black, uh, Dr. Fran Kogan from Children's Hospital, who walked out here with a $200,000 check. check. Amazing. Not that was bad. Amazing. Where's mine? Um, <laughs> Scott Bruno, <laughs> Adam Sobel, stop. Victor Albizu, Kyle Bailey, and the Wilder Brothers. Did thank you, guys. Give a round of applause. Right. Woo! Great show. A lot of fun. And I just want to remind everybody, next week we're back in studio. We are back in studio. We're going to have a terrific show next week. We've got uh, New Zealand wines. We're doing pool boys. They make wine in New Zealand? They do. And there's a big Uh, guacamole festival going on. We're going to be doing it all in studio and Dolce Gelati, a little bit of sweet. It sounds like a Maalox moment to me. (laughs) Okay. Now, we are wrapping up the show here, but the event is not over because all the chefs are going to be coming up with their chicken fried steaks. They're going to be delivering it to the judges, and everybody who's here right now is going to be digging into chicken fried steak. All right, I got one more thing. One more. If you haven't been to one of these remotes, first of all, it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of food, and people are going to be... And a lot of booze. St- yeah, a lot of booze. A lot of booze. That's a good picture right there. Now, our children are here. You haven't been drinking booze, have right? you? Right. You're lying. <laughs> You're a liar. I see it all over your face. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so you should... Uh, we're going to be June... What are we? June 10th? At Jeff Blacks. Blacks and Bethesda, Blacks and Bethesda. Yeah. May 20th. At Founding Farmers in Potomac. So uh, all you uh, suburbanites who are scared to come downtown. Right, who are we'll like 14th you. Street. <laughs> see you out in the burbs. Right, all right. Yeah. All right, so Take crowd of applause, here. everybody. Thank you for coming in today. The Chicken Fried Steak competition is going to be kicking off in a couple minutes. This is David and Nikki Nellis for Foodie of the Beast. We're not quite done. We are done. Are we uh, done? Are we Jim? done? We got, we got one, one more minute. minute. All right, well, then let's start. Well, Michael lo- Wadomsky, come on up here. Michael's been oh, dying. Come Nelly's on. Oh, not going to come up. Come on up here. Oh, all right. Well, then let's come start. Come on up here. What are you going to ask Michael? Michael is David Hagedorn's partner, and he gets stuck coming to all these events. Michael, are you having fun, baby? He's got to put that around his head. I do have to put the new hat. It's a uh, new hat. I'm having a great time. You, are you having so fun? So I want to say, Michael works for FEMA, so anyone out there with a disaster of any kind, your relationship, <laughs> the basement is wet, I want you to talk to Michael after the show. Okay. All right? Sign me up. You oh, got yeah, your you moment. Are, All right. Yeah. See? It's a bigger star than you are, Hackett. Oh, All right. That's Foodie and the Beast. Event. All right. This is David and Nikki Nellis for Foodie and the Beast. Everybody have a delicious week.